In this tutorial, we will learn how to design, implement, train, and test a deep neural network to predict performance of students. Create a folder and name it Performance of a Student's Prediction Using Deep Neural Network. I already have the dataset copied in the clipboard, pasting it here. You can download the dataset from the link given in the description of this video. Let's analyze the dataset to better understand the goal of this tutorial. I teach in Department of Computer Science and Engineering. In our university, the students are evaluated based on the marks obtained in class test, assignment, attendance, midterm, and final exam. 10 marks in class test, 10 marks in assignment, 10 in attendance, 30 in midterm, and 40 in final exam. In total, 100 marks. In this tutorial, we will consider the class test, assignment, attendance, and the midterm score as training data. And the final score is the target data. That means, the network will predict the final exam score based on these scores. In other words, Suppose the final exam hasn't taken place yet. We are going to design, implement and train a deep neural network that will be able to predict the score of final exam a student may get. I hope you have understood the goal of this tutorial. Let's get started. Launch your MATLAB. Click on this browse for folder icon and locate the working directory. The first thing we need to do is to load the dataset. Create a script and save it as load data. We are going to create a function to load the dataset in MATLAB's workspace. First, define the function. It will return training and the target data. The name of the function is load dataset and the input argument is the file name we want to load. Turn the warning off so that we do not get unnecessary warnings. Store the file name in a variable named training dataset. Then create a variable named training dataset options and use detect import options to detect the options we have to import the dataset. In the next line, take a variable named training data and use the read table function to read the dataset. The first argument of this function is the file name which is in the training dataset variable. Second argument is the training dataset options. We are reading the dataset as a table, not as an Excel file. So, use Excel is false. Now class test score will be training data dot class test. Assignment score will be training data dot assignment. Attendance score will be training data dot attendance. The midterm score will be training data dot midterm. We have to express the training data as row vectors. Take a variable named training and create a row vector using these values. And the target is the training data dot final. So our function is ready to load the dataset. Let's see it in action. The name of the dataset is the student result dot XLSX. These are the target and these are the training data. As we have the dataset ready, we can design and train the network. Create another script and name it train network. We are going to create a function to train the network. It will return the predictor, which is the trained network and the training records. The name of the function is train network and it take the training and target datasets as input arguments. The learning rule we are going to use is 
Levenberg Marquardt back propagation algorithm. The network will have three hidden layers and ten nodes in each layer. Then use set demo random stream and an arbitrary value to make sure the network generates same results every time it is trained. The network has been designed. We use fitnet function to actually construct the network. The first argument is the network architecture and the second argument is the learning algorithm and it returns the network we need. Now we need to split the dataset into training, testing and validation data. We want to divide the data randomly. We will consider the data as sample while dividing. 70% of the data will be used for training, 15% of the data will be used for testing and 15% of the data will be used for validation. We will evaluate the performance in terms of mean squared error, which short form is MSE. And we want to plot the performance, training state, error histogram, and the regression graph. Finally, use the train function to train the network. The first argument of this function is the network we want to train. The second argument is the training dataset. We have to transpose it to make sure the matrix dimension is properly matched. The third argument is the target data. We have to transpose it too. After training, this function will return the predictor, which is the trained network and the training records. Let's call this function in the command window and train the network. Pass the training and the target as arguments, then hit enter. The training process has started. This is the network architecture. We can see three hidden layers, each with ten hidden nodes. The training has been completed with 18 iterations. We can see the performance graph by clicking here. Click here to see the training state. The error histogram figure is here. The regression plot can be generated from here. The training is completed. Let's test the network. Create a new script named test network. We're going to use a function to test the network which will return the predicted score of final exam and total predicted score. The name of the function is test network. It takes predictor which is the trained network and the data as argument. Here data means the class test, attendance, assignment and midterm score of a student. Take a variable named final and use the predictor to predict the final score. The argument will be the transpose of the data. Then total score will be the sum of the data plus the predicted final exam score. That is enough for this function. Let's see the performance of our network. Copy the definition and paste it in the command window. Suppose a student got 9 in class test, 10 in attendance, 10 in assignment, and 28 in the midterm. Our deep neural network predicts that the student will get 26.35 in the final exam out of 40 and his total score will be 83.35. That means the performance will be good. Let's see what happens if a student gets 5 in the class test, 7 in the attendance, 6 in the assignment and 14 in the midterm exam. According to our deep neural network, he'll score 15.24 in the final exam and his total score will be 47.24. So, our network can predict the performance of students now. That's all for this tutorial. Let me know if my tutorials are being helpful or not. 
I appreciate your suggestions. As a matter of fact, this tutorial has been prepared based on a request of one of the subscribers of my channel. This is actually his final year project. Hopefully, it will help you to complete your project or research. And if it does, hit the like button, share this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe.